Good day everyone, this is Genevieve Maribel. Here's my report about Almanac. Almanac was originally an Arabic word which means Almanac, meaning the climate. In the modern sense to an Almanac or Almanac is the average weather forecast for a certain period of time that is characterized by re relatively stable weather conditions covering a specific area. Almanac is an annual publication that includes information such as weather forecast, farmers, planting dates, tide tables, and tabular information in a particular field or fields often arranged according to the calendar, or etc. Astronomical data and various statistics are also found in almanacs, such as the times of the rising and the sitting of the moon and sun, eclipses, hours of full tide, stated festivals of churches, terms of ch courts, list of all types, timelines, and more. When was the almanac invented? The first annual almanac printed in early America was the Astronomical Diary and Almanac, the first published in 1925 in Boston by Nathaniel Ames, Amis. It was the most famous of the early almanacs, along with the poor Richard's almanacs by Benjamin Franklin. Who is it for? The almanac is for everyone. It is easily to find and easily, easily to use. Adults, students, children, and more else looking for the information can use the World Almanac and the Book of Fact. There is a specific almanac just for kids that is filled with puzzles, games, jokes, and lots of pictures. Presidents have also been known to use them. The Almanac website reports that Bill Clinton kept almanacs in his office during his term. Where do we find it? Almanac is really accessible in almost all school, public libraries, and academic libraries. It is usually a reference item and does not cir circulate, but can be used on site. How do I use it? It is a very thick book, but there are black markings on the side that divided the sections that allow the reader to find what they need fa fast. There is a table of contents that lists all the topics and subtopics and their page numbers marking and easy to find your area of interest. The almanac includes figures and tables with miniatures so the reader it can better understand the information. There are types of almanacs, astronomical and meteorological data almanacs, statistical, tabular and general information almanacs, almanacs for children, country and religional almanacs, specialized almanacs. First, the astronomical and the meteorological data almanac. The old farmer's almanac, this is the, the example of this first almanac. Published in the first print since 1792. It provides traditional mana content, including astronomical information, weather forecast, and gardening tips. It offers a freely available companion site that has been online since 1996. The weather pages in the almanac offer detailed seven days forecast for thousands of cities and towns across the United States and Canada. Second, the statistical, tabular, and general information almanacs. Examples of the second type of almanacs are the information please almanac, the world almanac and the book facts, and the New York Times almanac. Although this almanac serves as a general almanac, they contain easily accessible statistical information. Information Please Almanac has been published annually since 1947 by a series of publishers with variant titles. 
its most recent titles is the Time Almanac. Information Place was the name of the famous radio quiz program. The Information Place Almanac is very similar to the World Almanac, both in content and in style. The print in the Time Almanac is more readable than that of the World Almanac. And the Time Almanac indexes more personal and place names. The World Almanac is also available online from vendors such as OCLC, First Search, and the Lexus Nexus. Generally, the online search capabilities are enhanced because of different types of searching, including keyword searching. However, in some cases, the print edition is faster and easier to use. The general index of the print edition include many sub-entries that do not appear in the electronic editions. The New York Times Almanac began publication in 1997. Coverage includes profiles of U.S. states and nations of the world, politics, education, health and medicine, the economy, the environment, science, technology, award prices, sports, and obituaries. It features an extensive index. Third, the Almanacs for Children. The Almanac for Kids appear annually in print and has a corresponding website. It offers a plethora for kid-friendly information on such topics as, as animals, the environment, nations, population, religion, birthdays, and holidays, and mythology, and it has sections on sport, books, and states, as well as the U.S. history timeline. Port, the country, and the regional almanac. Many almanacs focus on the countries or religion. White Talkers Almanacs was founded in London in 1968 by the publishers Joseph Whittakers. It emphasizes the United Kingdom in a way that the World Almanac and Information Place Almanac emphasized the United States. For this reason, it is a useful source for current information about the United Kingdom. For example, it lists historic land landmarks, museums, and nominants given where appropriate a brief history, open hours, and admission charge. Fifth, specialized almanacs. International Motion Picture Almanac is the compilation of bibliographical, organizational, and statistical information concerning the motion picture industry primary in the United States. British, Irish, and Canadian film industries are reviewed and basic information on the world market is provided. A table of contents and subject index are also included. Library and Book Trade Almanac. It is formerly the Boker Annual, consists of reports written by library and information industry, professionals about events of the previous year, topics of current importance and activities of national associations and government agencies. In addition, it includes statistics, directories, awards, and other information of interest to librarians. The Sports Illustrated Sport Almanac and the ESPN Sports Almanac include extensive statistical and coverage of sporting events for the preceding year. Commentaries are written by staff of the respective organization. That will be all. Thank you.